Oh, don't shoot the rhino, you ding dong. Oh my gosh. Ma Ma'am, stop. Stop. All right, survivors, welcome back to RimWorld. We're picking up right about where we left off, or thereabouts anyway. It is uh, February 2nd. It's the second day here on the planet. 10 o'clock in the morning, 56 degrees outside. And it is slowly warming up here in the arid shrubland. And everybody seems to be doing something. Pretty sure. Let's see. We've got Riddle the Empath hauling wood to make a stool. Punchwood is hauling steel. Bringing it to the stockpile. And we have Joy out here working the fields. She's, oh, she's cutting the dandelions out of the field so she can grow her strawberry plants. And then uh, Ginger Snap. Ginger Snap is just wandering around. Um, so let's kick it into high gear and get rolling. We've got lots to do today. Uh, first thing is to show you guys what I have done off camera, which really isn't very much other than lay out some blueprints here with this, these little invisible blocks. Not quite invisible, but you can, uh, where is it? Yeah, here it is. It's under orders. You can plan out your building. So I like to do this because I can't think of the stuff in my head. I need to see it. So I messed around with this last night. Ooh, chopping down trees and fields. Very good. We're going to need that wood. because We're super low in wood. Wood is going to be an issue. So, oh, look at the little footprints in the sand. And I noted here that we're walking slower in the sand. You can see down in the left-hand corner, bottom left-hand corner, walk speed is 76% on the sand. Over here is 87 on the harder dirt. So we're going to have to make roads or paths, at least, for them to walk on. So they're not so darn slow. But anyway, so I laid out some blueprints here. We'll take a real quick look, and then we're going to get started on some work. Um, actually, why don't we get started on the work first, as long as we have what we need. Here's what we're going to do. We're going to have to kill this poor little squirrel. He's so friendly. Um, all right, let's not. Let's save the squirrel. Maybe we can tame that squirrel. <laughs> let's try taming him. It's not going to be a priority. I'd rather have the meat, because Joy cannot tame... Uh, I mean, Riddle can't tame um, Ginger Snap. Oh, there we go. Taking him down. Taking down that boar. Good thing he doesn't run after us. Like, I did. I tried to do this. Like, Riddle can't train Ginger Snap because there's no usable food. Because apparently, Ginger Snap, our warg, is uh, a, meat a Metasaurus. Aim and shoot. You can get closer, Joy. Whatever. She's just shooting all over the place with blood splatters. She's so she does like to hunt. She has a super high passion for hunting. So yeah, see, she does have a uh, passion right there. So over here, it shows double double flame. Would you get him? Oh, don't shoot the rhino, you ding dong. Oh my gosh. Ma'am, ma stop. 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 If you shoot the rhino, it's going to charge you and probably crush you. Wonderful. So Riddle's trying to tame the squirrel. Here's what we're going to do. We can move Joy closer. We can draft her into the army. Move her closer, and hopefully this thing doesn't attack this close. But we're going to have to babysit her because she's trying to shoot at the thing from super far. Let's die already, would you? Oh, jeez. How's the health? It's bleeding. Whole body blood loss. It's getting late already. All right, you got it. Get up there, kill it, and butcher it, and bring it in. So now we have to butcher it. So we don't have a butchering table, so let's go ahead and do that right now. I can't watch these people all day. We, we have... <laughs> we actually have to do some work here. Oh, we don't have enough wood. Oh my gosh. Okay, I thought... Hauling wood. Hurry it up. Hurry it up, Pablo. Maybe this training really isn't a priority. Point blank? You can't kill the stinking piggy wiggy? It's in shock. Fortunately, we have unlimited amount of ammo. There we go. <laughs> That's awesome. Riddle's having a snack. Um, Punchwood, are you really cleaning? All right, he is. So let's uh, let's do this. We got to cut up some some trees here. This is probably the best way to do it. Chop wood and then just go. Zoop. Get that too. That too. That too. We really need the wood. So Punchwood, can you get on that? He'll stop. To stop cleaning because if you look at the priorities here this is a higher priority these are lower priorities clean is a pretty low priority and the number based that i put in there is also 
a priority so one being the highest priority so obviously cut is higher priority um, plant cut is higher priority than clean not only on the chart but also value so that's how that works that's pretty slick we'll be fine-tuning that a little bit Wow, that squirrels nuts still trying to train him uh, but we do have to get that butcher table out or we can't butcher that animal and we, we still don't have enough. No, no, no. Punch wood. Don't go to bed. You're not going to bed yet. Haul that wood, dude. Yeah, haul lots of wood. I mean, we named the colony after you. Or we will anyway when we get that chance. So you better haul that wood. And now we have enough wood to make the butcher table. But we can't do the butcher table um, until somebody wakes up. All right, that's... There's the dead boar. Someone's going to have to go and haul it and then bring it back. And uh, did I? As long as we have corpses here, it should be okay. Animal corpses. Oh, we don't have animal corpses. Let's put animal corpses here so somebody will grab it and bring it back. So while everybody's sleeping, let's at least talk about our plans for the future here. Show you what I have. Um, this is going to be turned into a sort of kitchen eating area. We've got the table already set up, so the beds are going to be moved out. This will be my butchering and maybe cooking. Might be, might do the cooking inside this room, so this would be, like I said, the kitchen butchering. This will be our freezer, so these represent walls, solid walls. Um, we're going to have to make this cold, obviously. We can do that with the air conditioning units. Over here, we're going to have apartments. There's an apartment there, an apartment here. Let's have a nice little porch out front, a door here, maybe. Might do the same here as well, another apartment. This is going to be kind of a our center, town square. And we're going to build around it like this. So we're not really looking for optimization uh, or super secure. We're just going to kind of grow this place organically like a little town, like a little New England colony. <laughs> just a hodgepodge because nobody really thought about roads uh, and efficiency back then. And uh, it's quite a nightmare now with all the one ways and circles and everything else. It's nuts. But it's cool. It's got some charm. We're going to do the same thing here with the Punchwood Colony. Let's speed it up here a little bit. All right, so morning is coming. So over here, what we're going to do is make... Um, we're going to have more workrooms. This will be our workshop area. Uh, smithing, tailoring, sculpturing, all that. So this is where people will go to work for the most part, with the exception of the butchering and the cooking. In fact, let's do that right now. we got to get that butcher table out here. I'm going to put that right about here. It's fine. So somebody's going to get that cranking, hopefully. It's working on our squirrel. I don't know if you guys saw my last series of uh, of RimWorld, but we had a pet squirrel. But of course, it, that Alpha 8 didn't have taming, so it was just all pretend. It was just in our heads. But Pablo Punchwood, the mob henchman who is now a hired assassin, had a pet squirrel called Sally that ended up getting killed. And, uh, but we never ate it. We, somebody turned it into a meal inadvertently, but I had to forbid it so no one would eat Sally. Yeah, long story. Fun, though. So anyway, we're going to have a square here. I want to have our first statue placed right here. Some kind of a monument that commemorates our landing on this planet and colonizing it. And we can do that, and that's going to hopefully make people happy. Plus, we can do, like, horseshoes and stuff in here, too, that'll make people happy. You make games now. So that's that. Might do a prison down here. Maybe storage or something down here. I don't know yet. Um, so we're just going to have to play it by ear. Maybe a pasture over here. We'll see. We'll see. It'll take one day at a time here. So it's now day three, in fact. Time's going by pretty quickly. Uh, we really do need to get that thing butchered. So, Punchwood, instead of you doing that, could you grab... Oh! Where's our meats? Oh, there it is. Oh, we have to do this now. We have to go to the table, and we have to actually create a bill for this. So we have to butcher a creature, and we just put this on uh, do forever, just infinity. So someone's going to go do that right now. Punch wood. He's good at butchering. He knows how to use a knife. Part of his training is a mob henchman and assassin, of course. Let's take a look at our, open up our panels here and see what we have. Really terrible for wood here. I'm so used to having tons of wood. Um, thanks to being in forests, essentially, surrounded by wood. But 
it's going to be it's going to be difficult so we really have to get that wood planted over here pretty quick and i think we're going to chop oops we're going to chop this wood down here too can we grab those we're going to need wood we can't do anything we can't build our homes or apartments without wood clearly cactus give wood so we really need to do some chopping we're going to need power as well so one of the first things we're going to do is get uh Oh, we... Oh, oh, we tried some obedience training. You see that? I think it was a fail, but uh, at least now we have the meats to do that. 15 meats. It's going to spoil in 3.9 days, so we really need to get that thing going. That refrigerator, which means we're going to need power. And I'm thinking about putting power down here. We get a... Uh, well, we can do a windmill, or we can do solar generators. 100 steel. Let's just go right ahead and do that. I'm going to plop that down here for now. We can run some cabling up that way. Um, probably put one over here too, I suppose. And I'm also thinking windmills, uh, wind turbines down, like maybe down here. Maybe we can run power lines up that way. And we want to get these beds out of here, of course, and get people in their own rooms because it does have an effect on their needs here. Disturb sleep, so you're woken up twice. Look at that. Well, actually, it's two times now, right? So negative six, feeling bad just because, and is sharing a bedroom. So we've got to get them into their own little apartments. So Punchwood is chopping the wood. Joy is doing the planting. Riddle is uh, eating. <laughs> we do have some of these agave fruit plants, which is wonderful, right off the bat. So we don't have to um, do any cooking right, up, right away. We're going to want to now. Obviously, the solar panel is only going to create energy during this during the light when the sun is shining. So that's why we want to get some windmills. So let's put a battery. Let's put battery. I was going to put batteries over here in another room. The batteries we want to cover up in a in a in a room. So we'll put doors here. Get in. And that'll be walls. So when, when you build up all walls like this and doors, there is a roof there. Um, how do we show that? Uh, I'm not really sure. I thought there was a toggle for it, but you can usually see when they first build it up, it becomes a room and it shows like a real quick corrugated tin roof very briefly. Yeah, so we have our batteries here. We need to connect those and then run some power lines all the way over here. But I'm thinking maybe we'll do a wind turbine over this way. So we can probably get two of them right here. Right here. We'll get somebody cranking on that. ASAP, hopefully, in the morning. Because everybody's back in bed. This rhino really wants to get tamed. I want to do that so much. Oh, the piggy wiggy's here looking for his friend that we shot. Sad. But you gotta train that warg. How's that training going anyway? It's still not obedient. It's not obedient yet, Ginger Snap. <laughs> Working on it. How about the squirrel? <laughs> uh, it doesn't say. And yeah, we'll speed up a bit, get through the night. So far, we haven't had any unwanted visitors, but Cassandra is probably keeping an eye on things, and she will. Send somebody our way sooner or later. Now we have to fill up these batteries, so let's just do this. Oop. Oh, Sleepville. No, 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 Punchwood. So that should help us with the naming. The save files. Um, let's just run Conduit. Both of those. It's good to have a little redundancy. Oh, what's this? Oh, I know we need defenses. We'll, we'll work on the defenses eventually. Um, so how we can, we can run our conduit right through the wall and then up this way. Maybe we can power something here. The butcher table does not need to be powered, but we want to get some lighting in there and stuff. Oh, slow down, slow down. You guys are confusing me. Hmm. Whoops. Maybe we won't need to. If we get this thing going, we'll be okay. We get that wind turbine up. We can just power from that side. Riddle's talking to the squirrel. Nice. Still uh, planting seeds here. We've got Zerygium coming in. That's going to be our medicinal plant. Strawberries coming in. 8% grown. Growth rate's 100%. Very nice. 
This stuff's growing uh, quite efficiently here. We got a boom rat. Interested in what's happening. Let's grab that agave. And we got lots of wood here that needs to be hauled still. So hopefully somebody will pick that up in a moment. This fire's gonna burn out shortly, and we're gonna have to uh, throw some different kind. Of oh, visitors! Wait, whoa, 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 whoa! City at the forest visiting. No kidding. Oh, hello! Cool as heck, cowboy. Hold on, let's say hello here, Isadora, with her little beanie cap. Nice. This is great. They're, they're fortunately they're friendly. A survival rifle, a took. Shoddy cobra skin. And we have a Fedon a Hierarch. Wow, look at these guys, huh? Very cool. I like them. Haruku Church. He's a military commissar. He's got a pistol. I love that hat. I'd shoot him and take his hat, but they would kill us. <laughs> and we have Table the Janitor. What do we got? Alright, so they're friendly. That's great. He's got his own meal, too, so they won't come in and eat ours. Let's just take a look at something real quick here. Let's take a look at the factions. So there are uh, five factions living out there on our world somewhere, and two are friendly, or at least not hostile, and then we've got three that are hostile. The Bloody Monkeys. Boy, nobody likes the Bloody Monkeys. Everybody's an enemy of the Bloody Monkeys. Wow, okay, great. So they're friendly, so we don't have anything to worry about with them. Um... There's no wind. Is that because it's blocked by the hill? I'm not sure. It could be. Oh, there we go. Okay, it's, it's just there's just no wind right now. Maybe that's just a bad spot. Well, we need a battery here anyway, so let's get a battery going. We'll put it inside. Well, it's gonna be inside sooner or later. And I think we're gonna have to start making our fridge area. It's going to be kind of a, a, uh, a priority here. Because we gotta we got to freeze up our meats. We could just make the freezer right here for now. Because we don't have a lot of meat. Why don't we just do that? Let's just go like this for now. Because this is going to be the butcher area and we can just freeze it. Um, let's cancel that one and make that a door. There we go. A little, oh, there we go. Okay, so now we're getting some wind. Just took a little bit of time to spin up, apparently. And we need to run some power line. Some conduit down to this battery. And we'll just go like... Here's, oh, see that rooftop? That shows you the roof. So there we go. There's your roof. Um, I kind of made it, like a, rather than just a square, I have that little piece like that so let's just let's just keep this in the wall and that should be fine and then we can run power through these walls solar flare no 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 okay so we have a solar flare intense radiation will shut down all electrical devices it should pass in about a day so cassandra's like you guys are doing pretty well but well she's probably thinking no you're not doing well so we're just gonna throw a little solar flare at you we're not gonna sh send anyone with guns to hurt you but we're going to shut down all your power. Um, but we don't have anything powered right now anyway, so it's not that critical. Let's get a... Boy. A cooler in here right now. So the way to do the cooler is... Like so. We could have it turn this way and the heat... Stop, visitors. So this shows you the cool air and the hot air, which direction they're going to be in. So we want the cool air, obviously, in the butcher room for right now. And then the hot air is going to go out the back. I don't think we want the hot air blowing into this room down here because it's going to get too hot since we're in a average furlough. So let's just put it here. Somebody's going to build that up. And we'll run a power line over to it. Still got plenty of metal here that fell from the sky when we crashed. Or when the uh, starship exploded, anyway. Because we actually didn't crash here. We took skate pods, right? But we can, um, we can mine more metal, and there's some right there. We don't have to worry about it right now. But I am going to have to get a stockpile in here. I'm thinking about moving that out, honestly. There's not a lot of space in here. Well, for now, let's just do this. I can always change this later. We're going to make a stockpile zone in here. 
like this and we'll make it food storage. So I'm going to clear all and then we're just going to go foods, corpses, and body parts. Now we're just going to do food right now. And there we go. So we'll take the food out of this one. So somebody will move it out of this stockpile and onto this one. So we just want foods in here and corpses. All right. So it is now February 5th. It's night time. And we have more visitors. Who are these people? Oh. It's Lilith. She's in exile. She's age 55. She's very stressed. She's feeling stressed. Unfortunately, we can't just go and try to try to recruit her. I don't think. Oh, these guys are leaving. There's really not much to see here, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, they're just not very impressed. So they're leaving already. I'm just wondering if we can chat with Lilith somehow. I don't think so. Like, she might like what she sees and just, and just join us outright and say, Hey, I like what you have here. I'd like to join you. But I think we're pretty unimpressive at the moment. So, um... She's just going to just walk around, essentially, and then leave. So I think right now, guys, we're going to call it quits. That is about all I have time for today. And uh, we'll definitely get working on that freezer. Expand our freezer more properly in the next episode. So we can move all the cold storage in there. And get a couple of apartments built up. But we have our basic necessities... Sort of squared away. Although we do have to get the cooking stove going. We could put that in here. For right now. I know it's super cramped over here. You know what? Let's move your bed. Let me deconstruct that. Real quick here. And then put the cook stove. Right there. And I'm fairly certain the cook stove needs power. Not 100% about that, but we'll put it... Oh, can I not? Oh, there's already a piece there. He's putting it in now. Punchwood. Good job, Punchwood! Is there power there? Yeah, oh yeah, there is. Okay. And then once that gets set up, we can uh, start assigning um, bills for making food. Making meals, because we're going to need that, obviously, to survive. Uh, I know I need defenses. Oh, someone from Baboon Caro is visiting now. Kamba, the warrior baboon, the warrior, age 40, with a spear, and penguin, female chief, age 46, coming over to say hi. Hoping somebody joins us, we could use one more person. Our production our workforce is just um, not cutting it. <laughs> all right, so they're moving all the, the, uh, the perishables inside, which you can see here, but we have to turn... Oh, does this not have power? All right, guys, it turns out these are not powered because of the solar flare. Forgot about that. Well, it just ended, so now they're, they're trying to come back on, but we don't have enough power because the turbine's not doing anything. So I've got Punchwood here setting up a new solar generator. And we're going to run a conduit to it. And maybe we can start getting this battery filled up. So when the lights go out, when the sun goes down... Or when the wind dies, we'll still have some battery power in there. We're going to need more than one battery, of course. But it's the same idea as this. And we can... Oh my gosh, a mad animal. We've got a mad animal. I hope it's not Sally the squirrel we've been working on. Please, no. It's gone mad. Where is it? It's not Sally. Okay, it's not our Sally. It's a different squirrel. Way down here in the southwest. And it's coming for us. So Cassandra says, all right, you guys have had a little bit of a lull in the action. Let's uh, let's send you a crazy squirrel. It's going to try to eat somebody. So I'm going to uh, we're going to hold off on that until next episode. And that'll be the first thing we deal with is the, uh, the, the the wonky squirrel coming for blood. So we'll see you guys in the next episode. Hope you enjoyed. Bye bye.